Hey, what's up Encounter Life family? Uh, Scott here. I just have a quick word I wanna share with you guys. Uh, first, I wanna just say thank you, especially to my youth students and family of the youth uh, for being understanding and flexible in this time. Uh, I apologize for not being able to uh, meet in person tonight. We just wanna be sure that we are um, taking every precaution we can, uh, being wise, being safe, and uh, but also not um, hindering everything that we want to do as a ministry so we're trying to find that balance and so just thank you uh for your patience as we go through these uh these trying times um and so even though we're not meeting tonight uh, i want to um throw out a challenge to you guys and um even if you're not youth even if you just clicked on this video um, um this can still be applied to you this is something that you can do this week um and i hope that it encourages you i hope that it gives you hope um and i hope that in some way it draws you closer to the Lord. And so, uh, you know, please don't tune out just because this is um, youth addressed. Um, and so my challenge to you guys um, this week is uh, to read through First John. There are five chapters in it. Um, and so you could do one chapter a day, Monday through Friday. Um, you could do it all in probably half an hour um, or however you wish to do it. Um, and if you, you have siblings um, in youth ministry or... Um, or you want to sit down with your parents and go through this, I challenge you, let's, uh, let's use this letter as a time to discuss um, our faith with, with those in the same household that we're in. We, ne we may not be able to meet, um, but it is definitely a time we can encourage each other. As we look through, um, through Scripture, there are a few of these letters are addressed to, um, such as James and 1 Peter, they're addressed to um, Christians in... Uh, that experienced a lot of persecution and were scattered across uh, the Middle East. And so they had just encountered the Holy Spirit, just encountered God, and yet now have been pushed away uh, so they no longer can meet with other Christians, with them, and especially with the apostles who were um, the ones establishing the culture and, um, and really encouraging the people. And so um, they write these letters, um, and, and the, the overall theme is like to, to hold fast to your faith, to know your faith, and, uh, and to, to find hope in it, that we're not here forever on this earth, but there is a, um, there is a one King Jesus who will come back and redeem us all, and, uh, and that is something to look forward to. And so um, John continues on with this theme um, in, in 1 John, and that's, that's really where I want to challenge you guys to, to hang out this week. Um, I think that first John does a great job of summarizing our faith in the gospel of John. He says that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And I think, uh, building upon that truth, um, first John, he has summarized the Christian faith. He's talked about, um, what it means to be a Christian, what we firmly believe and what that looks like for our life here on earth, how we live different because of what we believe. And so, um, Love for you guys to read this. Check it out this week. We're going to talk about this more. And so if there are things in it that confuse you um, and or, or that you just don't fully understand, um, write it down, highlight it. I want to have these discussions with you as we meet in the next couple weeks, youth students. So, um, you know, don't don't shy away from doing this. This is what we're going to be talking about. And uh, and I love love for some crowd participation. So um, I hope this blesses you guys. We love you. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful week. Um, we'll see you guys later.